Hello, this is the Darkness Lines, and we are back Yo, yo! Day. With me, Liam, and Owen. Yo. And we are back against Dare. Uh, out in the open. Well, it's a nice, lovely day. Going to be doing another five pound challenge. Yes, we are. So, we're going to go looking around town and see what we can find for five pound. Oi! Yes. So we'll be back soon with some more footage. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. We've just been in Cash Converters, spent up all our money already, because Cash Converters just seem to, oddly enough, have games what we both needed. Yes. So, um, yeah, we're going to film this somewhere now when we find somewhere to sit down and chill. Also, while at the same time, though, we're going to give a review as well at the same time. On so it's two, two videos. Days. Yeah, so it's two videos within one video. Yes. I yes, guess we might as well. I mean, there's nothing stopping us. No, there's nothing stopping us so, at all. Yeah. What is with the post voice you're watching, Nick? I don't know why I've got a real post voice. I don't know. I think I've been reading rather an English dictionary or an English thesaurus. Oh, well, you really said that on a YouTube video. Okay. Yes, I did. See you in a bit, guys. Ah, you. Okay, and we're back now. We found somewhere to chill. So we finally got our games, what we've got from around Kex Converters. We was planning on going to Kex, as you can tell, because I'm wearing my Kex match. And for people that don't believe it, yes, I'm bored again, by the way. Just getting out of the way with it. Plus, I also to prove to some people as well, though. I don't know why it's a thing to mention, but yeah. These are kicks out. Let's see, there's the official tag. So I guess we're just going to have to do a kick again at some point when we get and a then, chance. <laughs> and, and then... then yeah, uh, yeah. Official award. Why did you need to do that? Why was that necessary? I don't even know. And again, though, why was man even necessary? I don't know. There we because go. you're a kick smother. I'm a Kex lover and a keeping the content private, but you, you keep the content from that uh, uh, restricted. <laughs> I'm a Kex lover and a. Yeah, you can't say that one on the video. <laughs> it rhymes with Kex. It's right. not like it's offensive. Jeez. No, but moving on, anyway, though. We'll get to the what you're here for, anyway, though. All right, then. So, um, how many games did you manage to get with your five pound? Do you want to start off with yours first and drop stuff from mine? I'll start off with mine first because I've got a big selection. Is one? So, my one? first one. I did have this on copy, but my mate decided to put it through a paper shredder. Fallout 3. Hmm. But my mate put it through a paper shredder. Good game, Fallout 3. And guess what? The paper shredder exploded after we put it through. <laughs> you want to explain about the game anyway, then, instead of the paper so shredder? So basically, <laughs> this game prepares you for the future. <laughs> From the creators of the award winning Oblivion comes Fallout 3, featuring one of the most Realised game worlds ever created. And create any kind of character you want and explore the open waste of post apocalyptic Washington DC ever minute in its fight for survival as encountered super mutants, ghosts, ghouls, raiders, and other dangers of the wasteland. So basically, it's a survival apocalypse sort of game where you salvage stuff. If you haven't played a Fallout game, Get a life already, please. Or uh, even if you just haven't got around to playing them sort of games because you're new to the gaming world and stuff, play the game already, god dang it. Please. It's a, it's a good game, Fallout game, so. Especially my favorite Fallout game, Fallout New Vegas. Mine would good be one. Fallout 4. Oh, isn't that the one with the dog? Yes. Yeah, right. Where you find out at the start where... Don't ruin it for people who haven't played it. What the hell? Yes, but if most people have played Fallout 4, then you'd know what the first some starting people, bit is. Some people, then no one heard them, they don't need to be told. But anyway, my okay, next game next is 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa. Now, this game was legendary. Because with this, you could, all, you could play other teams in singles, you could play the career mode, and you could play the World Cup mode. I've got to admit, I have played the, the uh, not, it's not FIFA game, is it? Oh, it is an actual FIFA one. So, um, yeah, I have, I have played it and it is actually a quite decent one, to be honest. I believe I do own a copy of it myself on PS3. So, yeah, good one, that one. Then I've got the Game of the Year edition of okay. Call of Duty 4. I did have it, but then some, some miraculous reason it's disappeared. What would you say, in your opinion, which Modern Warfare is your best one, to be honest? You can include the nuance as well, if that's so. Um... But... I mean, honestly, in my opinion, if I'm, I'm just going to get mine up where we are. Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> because do you know why Modern Warfare 3? With the survival mode, which you had to face the choppers, the juggernauts. Yeah, you know, I, I don't dig it that much. I, I, mean, I mean, then again, though, compared to this mode of this game, 
I think I would rather prefer it though, because you know exactly what I'm on about though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So actually, yeah, okay, then fair build of survival mode and that is alright then, I guess, compared to stupid alien mode thing. And this did. game... But this my favourite Modern Warfare game, guys, would obviously have to be Modern Warfare 2. That would be my second choice. I'm not only about the new and Modern Warfare. No, the old one would be my second choice. Yeah. Right. Okay then. Oh, anyway, back to you. The next game I have is Need for Speed Most Wanted. But it's got the kick sticker at the bottom. <laughs> so and then it's also got the cash sort of converter kick, sticker. These are still all from cash converters though, guys. Yes. Right, so have you played this one before? Because I, I don't think I have played Most Wanted. I've played um, the Finny one on the PS2. Was I've played all of them apart from this one, which I need to get content round on this one. Right. So you would know more about that one then, wouldn't you? So is it a decent one, that then? It is very decent, yeah. Right. Basic racing games, you know, Need for Speed games are, you know. You, you are connected to an open world built for epic races and chases. So basically, you you are connected to an open world, which is which is what which what falls is like. That's like an open world one. Yeah, true, true. And then. You don't get chased by coppers on Forza, but you get chased by coppers on more, on Need for Speed games. Yeah, God, there's bugs flying around there. I lost bugs. It's not even like a bright screen or anything. Okay, so um, for my favourite Need for Speed type of game, I think mine would have to be Need for Speed Underground 1. Sick game. Need for Speed yes. Underground. Yes. I mean, some people might pick Need for Speed Underground 2, but... Yeah, but I think yeah. 1 and 2 were the best ones. They were, but if, if I was going to have to pick out the 2, I'd pick the first one because it's just an amazing game. That's it there, boys and girls. I'd pick the first one, but then the second one would be my second choice. Yeah, that's fine, you know. Then the final game, which Liam told me this is a very good game. Played them both. I mean, I like them. Some people might not. Ken and Lynch Dog Days 2. So basically, gaming is the most... No at gaming's most notorious criminals. I want to explain a bit to it. In a gritty and brutal crime shooting, a simple job gone wrong finds Kane and Lynch on a desperate, frantic struggle to escape the entire Shanghai underworld. So basically this game is online well, and co-op where you fight for survival. Mm. You can play as Lynch in a medicated psychopath and then a claimed multiplayer which is greed Betrayal and Revenge. Yeah. It, and the people who made this game, Squaring. Then it was Low Interactive, Bink Video and Havoc. So basically, yeah, it's a Square Enix game and... Uh, and Square also Enix EDOS games, as well. Square Enix games are, are known for... And also EDOS as yeah. well. Square Enix games is the most biggest popular brand on there because, you know, they made these games, which are obviously Final Fantasy games. And so on other titles, which might be down here if I decide to put them in Right, guys, is. that is my games over with now. Now over to Liam for right. his games. So, yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, with that game, there is two of them. That's the second one, so you do need to get one for the first yeah. one. I think, but, yeah, I couldn't find the first one in cash converters. We'll get to it someday, though. Yeah, we will. All right. So, so moving Liam's on. turn for the games of his choice yes. of what he picked. So, moving on to mine now, um, Owen actually managed to get a pound each game on them one, so he actually managed to get five. And that's a fair do, well done Alan. And can you also explain why it's hard for you for all these games? If you've seen yeah, my channel. You've explained to me, aren't you, about. If you've seen my channel and uh, that, you'll know that I'm a big time gamer. Uh, yeah, I've literally rather never enough played, never enough most games already. Uh, oh, I already own them all. As, as, on disc, yeah. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I need to get around to even making some new game content, some newer games, but that's just when you so, get the money for it. So, he's got his content for... So, yeah, I've got my content anyway, though, and uh, I've only got three games here, because uh, one of them was a bit more pricier. Which came up to but... £4.96. Yeah, which is four pence off, because it said on the receipt, four pence off. Well, I don't know, because that's £3, and that's a pound, and that one's a pound, and that's still five pound. Plus, if you're taking off the pennies, but never mind. Anyway, though, so I'm going to get around to my beef. No, show sure, receipts off there. I'm not people's names on my stuff and addresses and whatever else. I'm not, but look. That's pennies off from the Finney. £4.97. Ah, oh, right, I thought I heard you say £4.50. No, I mean, I said £4.96, but then I looked again and it was £4.97. Ah, okay. Anyway, I'm going to get into one though, anyway, because, um, like I said, it's a bit more harder for me. But, because um, I already do these on my channel as it is anyway, and I've done one recently. So, the first one I've got 
is one that I didn't really think I'd get around to doing because it's like something I wouldn't really normally get around to getting. And what that one is, is um, it's so fine. It's just Why dimmed a bit. Gone down? So the first thing is there anywhere. Not clue anywhere. It should still be OC. If you can't see, I do apologise, guys. Because and what it's that so is sunny in Hull right now is 100 classic books collection. Well, there's oh yeah, it's 100 classic book collection. So yeah, as you can see, it's a pound from cash converters, and basically it's just a portable library of of uh, some famous titles, most probably. So turn your Nintendo DS into a bookish, in, sorry, into a bookshelf. Hold your DS like a so book. So basically, it's kind of like a book then. Pretty much, dollars to it. If I, if, if I, blah, 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 blah. Let's just go. There we go. I mean, it's nothing special. If you've ever owned an Amazon Fire Kindle, then you'd know that it's like one of them. It's like with books on. It's literally, yeah, basically that. <laughs> I shouldn't throw it around, but yeah. So it's, it's just something to add to the collection, something completely different, something I would normally go for. But compared to the next game you're going to see, you're going to be even be like, oh, is and this even a thing? And, this and what game that game is... Liam never even knew about. ...is weird as hell. Yeah, I didn't know about it. It's, it's like they've apparently made another one for the DS. And also for your mobile phone as well, where you can actually connect it yeah. to your own guns. I'll have to definitely check that out to see if it is a thing. If it is, there'll be an image there as well. But um, what it is, is Nerf and Strike, is it? Yeah. Strike, yeah. And it's made by EA Sports. So yeah, by EA Sports. And, and uh, Hasbro. Oh no, it's just EA. Yeah, and also Hasbro <coughs> on the back. No, I trust Asbro to be part of it, you know, because they're the ones that make the toys and stuff anyway, so yeah. So yeah, as you can see, another 99p game. And uh, yeah, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is is to target the demolition of hostile secret organisations. Unleash the switch shot X3 as your master, the greatest. The, the greatest arsenal, arsenal of, of Nerf Blasters, blasters ever, assembled. ever assembled. I'm going to murder you one of these days. You know that. I'm going to murder you. You do this all the time. You're crazy. I'm going to kill you. I don't know how this works. If you can put people into the game, I was going in it. I'm going to kill them with an Nerf gun. So, yeah. <laughs> we might have to do some game content on I, that sometime. I really don't know what to expect from it, honestly, though, guys. And on your blasting skills, choose your blasters. <coughs> Well, let's keep this PT, as some people would put it. No, no. PG, sorry, the PT. Oh, we're having a cup of tea now, apparently. You know, we're British. We're having a cup of tea now, apparently, as well. We'll keep it PG. No, look, it's like this. It's like... So, so um, yeah. Oh, yeah, another thing I normally do on my videos, though, anyways, I always check them to make sure they're fine enough. And uh, this has got its fucking game, so... Oh, that's shit, good enough. shit. I've got to check mine. Well, let me just get round to mine first, and then you can let me know. Come. You can't really check a dick. Complete. Alan, come on, man. Jesus Christ, you're stepping in my content time now. What are you doing? No bucket in that one. There's no bucket in man. Uh, this for this one now, guys, is no fine enough for a wee game. I mean, no I'd say it's good condition. So yeah. Also, yeah, we're sat outside of a shopping centre in Hull, uh, St Stephen's, Kewindon. Okay, so the final game, what finally made it up to close to five pound anyway, as it is. Is a game I haven't played before. I played most um, of this company's game. I'm not going to say just yet until I've showed it. But I played most of their games, and uh, this is one I can say I've never really got around to playing. So I do apologise to anybody out there where they're like, "What? You've never played it? From oh, what? You've from never Square played Ring, it? From Square Ring? You know, I was mentioning that I was going to show them the game before I said the freaking goddamn company. <laughs> This kid needs to work on his content skills. I mean, man's not excellent neither, so there we go. Anyway, so I'm not judging me, I'm only joking. So it was 2 dollars this game, and what it is, is Star Russian, the last up. Somebody must probably actually paid £4 for it though at the time. I was about like to say you game. it wasn't £4. Nah, I think that's when somebody's bought it from like a game in a bit now. 2014! We're trying to keep this to do with the video, but okay. So Star Rush in the last half. 2014! <laughs> but yeah, somebody paid that around that time. Fuck with them, I guarantee with them sort of sticker style ones. Normally I've seen them most when people go to gaming events and comic cons and stuff. And um, yeah, so Star Rush and uh, Half has fallen, heroes must rise. The year is 2087. If you're watching this video at some point in the future, 
mentioned it. Weed, I would have just mentioned it right now. But our time right now is 2024. Yep. Yeah, 2023. I had to think, man. So anyway, the year is 2087. From the smoking ruins of World War III, the surviving members of the human race have united in a final desperate bid for survival with no reef reforge? And no refuge. Refuge to be the found of the deep fasted earth. All eyes At devastated. Devastated earth. No, uh, all eyes have turned to the stars and the erotic pioneers. At pioneers. I am shit with words, guys. Good job I've got Alan here next to us. Charged with finding a new home among them. Their repressed man can't last up, but does. present. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like I've been Googling me. But does the answers truly lie in the infinite expanse? Expanse. Expanse of the great Star Ocean. The origins of the legendary Star Ocean saga are revealed in a symphony of dazzling visual and breathtaking real time combat. Prepare for liftoff. So it's now a PG game. Like you, like it normally is with the Square Enix games. So uh, yeah, never played it. So this one as well though, so complete as well. And apparently it's got two discs. I'm hoping they did actually hey, put two discs in there. Let me just check these real quick. Disc two seems to be fine enough. Oh, Wait, I'm not three. even showing it. Wait, what? Just so where's disc one? I'm going to go kill them, and if I don't. I will kill them some more. Disc 3 is in good condition. Where the goddamn Jesus Christ is disc 1? It definitely does hold 3 discs, doesn't it? I don't know. It might not. But why would you put disc 2 and 3 if it's not disc 1? I don't know. I have no idea, mate. Three I, is 3 discs. I do not understand. So, I guess I'm going to have to go back to them and uh, try seeing if they've got the other disc because it's clearly not there. They've only put two discs in. That has bugged me now. I'm just going to definitely check to make sure it's not sticky wicked to the other ones. No, which it isn't. God dang it, I can't play that game now until I go back. So if there's an extra bit of content after uh, this, it's to explain of whether I've got the disc or if I haven't. So nevertheless, uh, we're going to get on to the reviews now though, the anyway. Ne the next video, the That's next part you've all been waiting for. That's so annoying. We've got the new Lucas Edge Sports. The Zero Sugar ones. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just a bit pissed that they didn't put in the first disc, god dang it. So, yeah. These are the new Lucasaid Sports. Zero Sugar, Raspberry and Passion Fruit, this one is. What's that one? This is just Orange and Peach. Orange and Peach, so let's give them a review on them. So, do you, well, we'll have to try a bit of both anyway, though. So, yeah. Could you can square these? No, man, he's put it all into his mouth anyway. That's what she said. Moving on. As I said, expect this for a looks air drink. Um, so Sarah <laughs> Sugar wants it, it's more lighter. Eh? The orange and peach one is not too bad. Um, I'd give it an eight. Right, and for the raspberry one and passion fruit, I'd give it about a um, seven. So we're switching around now. Let's try these. I give that a ten. So I give, give that one a ten. One. Right. So for the orange and peach one, I'd give it a downer because I'm not really keen on that one that much. I'd give that a four out of ten because mm. I'm just thinking it doesn't go well together that one. And the next one, well, the last ones is another company drink. What decided to do um, a bottle form? Are they Sarah ones as well? Sarah sugar. No, they're actually not. These are full sugar ones. These ones, but they decided to do them as well, though. Then. So these have been done in cans and now they've been done in bottles it's carabao sport they did i think they already did have another type of ones like that in bottles there but not these ones because did you see them when we was in there those yeah. other ones but um they're the older ones i think anyway so there's them as well there's orange is a tonic drink and mixed berry is a tonic drink please i'm glad you can pronounce that word but the mixed berry is a tonic one is clear whereas the orange one so there's the orange one as orange, right? Right. But the mixed berry one, clear as hell. Okay. I know. That's weird. Well, let's give them a try though anyway, nevertheless. So, yeah. Satisfied. 
Ooh. You can tell that these have got more. These are zero sugar. That is a ten. That is a ten. I'm not gonna lie. And Liam's gonna enjoy this one more than that one. So for that one, I'd give that a nine out of ten. You're gonna enjoy this one more. The orange one. What are you giving that one? Ten. Ten. Sorry. You are gonna enjoy that one more. It's got more. It's got more kick and a flavour to it. It's got more kick to it. Yeah, it's got a flavour. being kicked. Yeah, I'll give that one a 10, yeah, definitely. That's for the mixed berry one, so yeah, that's, and, that's not bad, actually. And I'm actually going to give a 10 for the orange as well, because I know it's box standard orange, but, but nevertheless. Yeah, nevertheless. So that's been our game pickup, so anyway, guys, and a review within this as well. I'm going to go now try going back with Alwyn and trying to see if we've got the extra disc. If not, I'll mention at the end, and then hopefully I'll rather have a different games or game and uh, replace that and show you that at the end. If not, then uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to think. So we'll be back very soon, guys. Right. Okay, so we're back, guys. Now I've replaced the game, obviously because I didn't. The uh, I took it back, and it was like um, we've not fully noticed at the time, even though you know they normally check them and stuff. But you know, if he hadn't noticed because he's just been too busy or whatever, there could have been any reason for that, couldn't he? I guess. So you know, I was talking to you, but yeah, yeah, as well. But it's it's like. Um, I thought I said by the same guy, he was just like, oh, we didn't notice this at the time, so... The same like, guy even said that it got sold with two discs. Yeah, at, so... At that precise time. I mean, normally they wouldn't normally accept it, but there we go. Nevertheless, so anyway, got it changed. So I managed to get two games out of it for the same price. <coughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll start off with the cheapest one first, which is the 99p one. And what that one is... It's what that one is, what that one is, sorry, oh, I'll try of new to pronounce this. It's Trivial Pursuit Unhinged. Not good with posh writing for some reason, guys. It's basically a quiz game. Quiz game? Yeah. Uh, most probably board game as well. Yeah, yeah most well, probably. The world's most popular Trivialia game. Trivialia, is it pronounced? A trivial game. So you terrible with words still. Trivial game with a twist. It's a legendary favorite with an exclusive new option. Options? Place bets, because Squ that says squash. Squash other players, or players, I don't know. Anyway, though, I'll, I'll just show it because there's too much information to read. So, yeah, it's a quiz game, like Alan said. So, there we go, if you can see it. 99p. All complete. Um, this condition. That's good. It's really good. So, yeah, um, so that's one of the replacements to cover it. It's an Atari game, it's by Atari. So yeah, there's that. Then the next one is an Xbox One exclusive game. And I can't say I've, I've heard of it before. Um, which, I didn't, uh, which, which I didn't even know about this. I wonder if that's the full name there. Yeah, it, is, it says on the sticker as well. 199 game, and what that is, is Rico. Which Liam said it's basically a mixture of Fortnite and, the, uh, or kind of like a mixture of Fortnite and Apex, because... I don't know that for certain, I'm just saying because obviously the things what you see on the front, I mean that kind of looks like the Fortnite Renegade sort of character, and then you've got like... And also look at the back, that character looks like Pathfinder uh, from... Um, Borderlands. No, no, Pathfinder oh, right, um, is from Apex. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not... Sorry about that, guys. I'm, I'm just thinking of the uh, robot off kind of like Borderland at the minute, uh, if anything. Yeah, but it looks like Pathfinder from Apex. And yeah. that even looks like an Apex character the female does as well. Well, the company is um, obviously Microsoft Studios have been an Xbox. Uh, X, what is my Xbox exclusive. It's an X Clock now, what the hell is that? I don't even know what you're Xbox about. exclusive game. Um, so it's Comcept. Comcept uh, and. A concept. Concept and. I'm rent. I'm I don't know. Not anything popular companies though anywhere. It's amateur. Amateur. Just like I'm terrible with the words. Right, I'm, like like most Xbox games or anywhere, they don't come with buckets anywhere because it's newer games. So yeah, there's the game though anywhere. Checking the disc condition. Did you check the other one on the trivial one? Yeah, it's in that condition. That's in brilliant condition. It looks like. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent condition. All the and scene is the, but you know. 
Um, and even the front cover looks amazing as well. What on the desk? Yeah, it looks amazing, the front cover. Yeah, there's that as well. That's mm -hmm. a very artistic design. So yeah, I'll have to give this a go. Um, let's see what it says. Survival starts in the whatever's underneath the sticker. In what the core see? or something like that. Or re yeah, in yeah. the core. Um, 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 um. Let's see what it says. Experience a new masterpiece from Kenji. I am terrible. At Kenji Inafu. And the makers of Metroid Prime. No, no, no lie. Look, right there, guys. If you can see it in the writing. Oh. It's like right there. I did not expect Very that. Very funny. That's I crazy. I really did not expect that. Build, build the perfect battle party by collecting and cons consuming your car bot competitors. I'll let you read it, Owen. You know, I'm, I'm really not having it with words today for some reason. I'm even Build your it, perfect so. battle party with collecting and customizing your core bot com companions. Lead your core bots against dangerous foes and uncover the secrets of. You done? Yeah, I did not expect it to be Metadroid. F from the group. F from the group is a Metadroid Prime. I did not expect it. that. So that should be interesting then. I'm really going to look forward to where I'm getting around to that. Uh, Liam, can you add this so, uh, in the thing yeah. later? Right, what? <coughs> Just mind blowing. I mean, yeah, I can do. All right, so yeah, so that's been all game pickups, and that's been the extra clip from what I've had to add in now because obviously with the mix-up of the other game not being fully there, which is adding an, another extra six minutes to the video. So yeah, we're going to get going now though before Alan talks for England because I'm pretty sure he's running for for MP. Nope, <laughs> never. So yeah. Never anyway, though, this has been the Darkness Alliance with a review and game pickup as well. The world may feel like it's ending. Bye guys! Yeah.